were there any other moments or experiences um, or things that impressed you as a young person growing up that sort of impressed upon you that you wanted to be a lawman? Well, I think that um, my uh, stint in the Marine Corps uh, put a lot of values that I take with me today, uh, service to uh, God and country. But most of all, you know, my uh, association with different people in the law enforcement community led me to believe that this is something that uh, is not just a job, it's a profession. Yeah, a career, a lifelong sort of uh, journey, if you will. Absolutely. Well, now, your path to being sheriff was hard-earned. And, uh, boy, when, when people look at a sheriff anywhere in the country, they would want a man who has lots of experience and can have, has the ability to, to deal with people of, of all backgrounds and income levels and, and walks of life. And if you can touch on where yours began and on what level and give us, you know, sort of the, the tick all the way up to sheriff, if you would. Well, I think you can tell by the color of my hair I've been doing it for a while. And I've, actually, I've been doing this for 40 years. Um, I started as a patrolman, uh, a street cop in West Palm Beach uh, back in 1970 and uh, worked my way through all the different ranks sergeant, lieutenant, captain, major, worked every type of job you can imagine, uh, rode motorcycles in traffic, uh, homicide detective, I did SWAT teams. So I understand this profession inside now because I've done every job that you could possibly do in this profession. And I think it was a good training ground. Uh, I eventually made it to be the chief of police, and I was the chief of police for eight years. And it was good training to be able to step into this position that is a position where you have the 12th largest sheriff's office in the nation. Now, you said chief of police. You were referring to chief of police of the city of West Palm Beach. Correct. That's the city of West Palm yes. Beach. Yes. And then, and then to be in charge of the county. Now, uh, this department is 3,500. Is that right? 3,500 people? It's uh, pretty close to 4,000 now. Uh, yes. And, and a lot of that is because we've merged with seven police departments uh, since I've been the sheriff. I actually took over their agencies. So uh, it, it's quite a large organization, but we're also responsible for the jails, you know, for the security of the airport, the, the waterways. In fact, we, our jurisdiction goes all the way to the Bahamas because we work with customs and enforcement. And we protect the judges, uh, the courthouses. So it's quite a large operation. Wow. Managing 4,000 people, you would have to have some expert skills in management and in people skills. Talk to us a little bit about that. I mean, you know, every now and then something will happen in the news and something happened with, with one one uh, person who went off the path a little bit and people go, oh, and they, they, they concentrate on that. And I'm thinking, are you kidding me? You know, one out of 4,000 and people are human and they're, you know, they're, they're the X factor. You never know what's on their mind or what they're going through in life. So, you know, I, I sort of chuckle to myself going, you're looking at this all wrong. <laughs> You're looking at the bet, you know, from the bottom as opposed to looking from the top. Would you? What well, do you think? Remember this. You know, we're we're human beings. Everybody that works here, whether it's a deputy or civilians, we're all just like you and everybody else. And with four thousand people, this organization is as large or larger than some cities that are in the county. And people are people, and they're going to have personal problems, and we're going to address those problems, and if they make a mistake, hopefully it's not going to be a horrible mistake, we address that particular issue and go forward. But uh, the, the, the bottom line is, you know, we try to make sure that we act as professional, that the deputies and the civilians that work here are role models within their community. And all in all, you know, I have a fantastic staff. You can't do it by yourself. There's no way to do it. Um, I've got uh, some outstanding leaders uh, within the ranks, so um, that means an awful lot.